I gotta tell you what, I think Cyborg. Evangelista Cyborg Santos is 28, 5, 9, 198 pounds, making his debut in Pride Fighting Championships. Kazuhiro Nakamura is 27, 5, 11, 205 pounds, 8 and 5 in Pride. President Saber, for the announcements, I think uh, Cyborg is the only guy I know that has better fingernails than my toenails. Well, he's definitely a uh, rather uh, ominous looking figure, very dangerous looking fighter. And with a name like Cyborg, with the tattoos you see Mike Tyson on his abdomen. In fact, he has another tattoo on his neck that says, So dos pode me jogar, Portuguese for only God can judge me. Ready? Fight! Cyborg has his uh, fingernails painted black as always, which, uh, and he, he, like like myself, he gets a pedicure and a manicure, but he paints his fingernails instead of his uh, his toenails like I do. Nakamura, a judoka under Hidehiko Yoshida at the Yoshida do Dojo, but also known for a pretty good right hand and going for the shoot there early. Good takedown defense so far by Cyborg, who's also known for his knockout power, but the takedown achieved wow. by Nakamura. Great job by Nakamura. He was he was almost almost lost that, almost had bad position, and just you know basically took another half a shot, got back in there and twisted it down. Cyborg representing shoot box so you'll know that he is going to be very aggressive, always looking for the knockout. Nakamura right now trying to pass the guard. Half butterfly and looking for a bit of an elevator sweep there was Cyborg, but uh, a good position here for Nakamura. Nakamura really does a great job on the ground. I got, I got to be honest with you. If I'm Cyborg, I want this back on my feet as quickly as possible. He, he, Cyborg see, has his right hand around his neck. He can't, he can't sit there. His left hand's caught underneath his leg. He's in a really bad position. Very he bad needs to get space. Here. He's got to push away. He's got to push away. He can't stay here. He's Nakamura. tough as nails. He can take a lot of those hits, but he shouldn't be doing it right now. Nakamura with a flurry of right hands. Of course, the last time we saw Nakamura in action against his former training partner, Josh Barnett, a precursor of the open weight tournament, as he lost via rear naked choke at Pride 31. He's really got to push away. Cyborg's got to get out of this position. He's in a bad spot right here. Back to half guard, but Nakamura doing a good job of making the most of it here, neutralizing that arm again, Trick. Doing a great job. He's sitting back on. I don't know why Cyborg keeps throwing that arm in there. He's keeping his head in there tight. It's kind of hard to hit a guy from this position when the guy's underneath you as much because he's really against your hip. Can't get much pressure, but you really don't want to be here. Cyber, if he takes his right hand, puts it across Nakamura's face, starts to push away and get his hips out. One of Nakamura's goals, as we mentioned, for the year 2006 was to win the Pride World Middleweight title. The first time he was stopped by strikes was against the current Pride World Middleweight champ, Vanderlei Silva, at Critical Countdown 2005, but so far doing a good job of controlling Cyborg and uh, really opening up with those right hands, some hammer fists as well. Because he's caught in the half guard right now. Nakamura has no space to throw any kind of knees. If he does, it just wouldn't hit anything worth the spot. So he's got to stay. He really needs to get out of this half guard. He's trying now, bring that knee up. He's getting ready to get full, full side. If he can get his foot, if he can get his toe down to get full side. He's kind of caught here he's a little bit. He's just got his foot hook there. Otherwise, he'd have a guard pass and a side control. There's a nice short knee delivered by Nakamura. All the way out. There he goes, side. Good position, attacking that arm. And that far arm. Could be going for an Americana here. Nice knee to the head by Nakamura, totally controlling Cyborg from the bottom. Looks like he has a tattoo of uh, El Chair within his, uh, on his uh, right arm right there, his right bicep as Nakamura's trying to attack the arm and holding it up. Nakamura relentless with these, a barrage of right hands now. The fans here at the Saitama Super Arena reacting to every shot. So far, it's well documented that Cyborg can take a punch. It's not those punches because they're so tight to his body, they're so short, they're not really doing that much damage. But remember, collectively, if you're only hit, hitting someone with 1% of your power, but you hit him 100 times, it's going to add up. Looking for the arm bar is Nakamura. Far side arm bar there. Cyborg escaping, and Cyborg trying to. Reverse the situation, but Nakamura really doing a great job of controlling the position and delivering the strikes. Almost going for a quick. There it is, the Americana. That's the pack of pink. He's to bring his elbow. He needs to slide everything down to Cyborg's hip. It's too far away. It's too high up. He could, he could probably slide this out. Doesn't have the wrist tight enough. Like you say, he needs to bring his own elbow to the body. And now. 
He's not going to get it. It's too far up. Nakamura needs to bring the elbow all the way down to Cyborg's hip and then start it. We, what we call it in my gym, the R1 Training Center, is packing it. He needs to pack it. It's too far away from his body. I now think Cyborg's going to be able to get himself out of this one. He'll, He'll be, be wrenching the shoulder here. The way he has it positioned, not so much more a wrist lock, Trig, instead of uh, the shoulder here. Look what the exactly. pressure is. Now, it, you're exactly right, Mark. Switch to the shoulder position because he let the key lock go. He's putting pressure on the shoulder. Cyborg should be able to get out of this, though. All he has to do is turn his hips in a little bit and push away. And again, there is a danger if he does not submit that Nakamura extending all of this energy could be for it later on, but doing a good job of maintaining position. And again, still going for it. The shoulder is over. Is. He taps Got out. It. Nakamura victorious via submission at Critical Countdown. Absolute 2006. Now what happened, Marl? the light of the partisan crowd. What happened in that position, Marl, is that he let it go. It went to his shoulder crank. He's pushing on it. And he switched it back. Instead of having the key lock, locking up with his own wrist, Nakamura, he used the canvas, he used the mat as his position to lock that wrist out and got went right back to the key lock and locked out his elbow. That hurt his elbow. He switched from the elbow to the shoulder, back to the elbow for the finish. And you can see that Cyborg favoring that elbow. Did a great job. You see him just raining out these punches, pretty much how the whole fight went. It was Nakamura just to complete control the entire time. If you're never ever able to get an offense off, you only let a man, especially a guy like Nakamura with a submission position, be able to keep changing spots, keep doing different stuff to you, you're never going to be able to get in control. Cyborg was always defensive the entire time, and it just... Mr. Kazuhiro Nakamura. As you see here, you see the switch, he's at the key lock still. Now he brings, it, brings the wrist all the way into the shoulder and starts pushing down on it again. Now, that was still on the shoulder portion. We're still getting pressure with the shoulder. It's another top side of it. He sees he's bringing it out. See how it brings the wrist out a little bit, presses down with the wrist against the canvas. That's how he gets the finish. 